Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today we will paint a ballerina and a falcon. But first we do the sketch with pencil. I drew a quick action line for the main position of the body and now let's do the head. We start with a ball which we flatten on both sides and then extend for the jaw. We do the neck, the shoulders and the upper torso, then the arm which I will make actually higher, like so. The hand in profile, and the other arm. She will be wearing a long dress that is flying in the air, blown by the wind. We refine the line a little bit, and begin drawing the features of the face. All right, the leg. Let's give a more rounded shape to the arm, and extend the hand just a little. Good! And up here will be a falcon. We sketch the overall shape at first and then give the detail. It is nice but a little bit too big for the girl. Let's erase it and redraw it but smaller. Let's redo the wings a little bit shorter and the head with the beak, the eye. And we sketch the lower part of the head and of the body. It is rounded and the legs hanging down. And we draw the feathers on the tips of the wings. I lighten the line with the kneaded eraser to refine it a little bit. I want to redraw it a little bit more clearly. So I just go over the line, refine it. By the way, I will upload a long version of this tutorial to my Patreon account. The link is in the information below the video. And let's give a better shape to the body by rounding some of these parts, these muscles of the shoulder and arm. We make vertical and horizontal lines for the features and then I draw them very simplified. Let's draw the other hand and we will be ready to start painting. Let's begin by giving a tone to the lower part of the background. I will be actually using this grayish blue for the whole painting. Then, once it dries, I get the whole paper wet and apply the watercolor paint from the top. I took some off the figure with a tissue paper. Now, once the paper dries again, I paint the darker areas of the falcon using a fine, round watercolor brush. The darker areas are the top of the wings, some lines on the feathers and on the head. And now, let's give a tone to the areas of shade of the girl. The light will be coming from the top right and therefore what is to the left and to the bottom will be darker. We also do the foldings or the waving of the dress, like this. As you see the paper is dry and I'm adding the color with a brush. As soon as the paint dries I can go over it with a second layer to give a tone to the whole dress. We paint the shadow in some background hills. Very good. And we reinforce and darken some of the spots, like so. Now I want to also darken the background a bit, including the sky. So I get the whole paper wet again, and then we will add more paint and let it run, like before. If we raise the top of the path, it will run down nicely and look like rain. Beautiful! I love this effect. Once it dries, I can pull some lights by lightly rubbing the paint with a wet Bristol brush and drying it with a tissue paper. Excelente! Let's give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. Please let me know if you want more watercolor tutorials and I will see you on Tuesday.